Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video we showed that the dot product of a plus b and a plus b was equal to the magnitude of a squared plus the magnitude of b squared plus twice the dot product of a and b. And here with these two vectors that we've used before we're going to show you that again that's indeed correct. So let's find the magnitude of a and the magnitude of b first. So the magnitude of a is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the component squared, so a sub x squared plus a sub y squared plus a sub z squared, and so this is equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. That would be 25, 9, and 16, that's 25, that's equal to the square root of 50. And so therefore we can say that a squared is equal to 50. Now we do the same for b. So now we're going to find the magnitude of vector b, and that's equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. And so in this particular case, the x component is, there we go, negative 1, negative 1 squared plus the y component, which is 2 squared, plus the z component, which is 6 squared. That's 36, that's 40, that's 41, that's equal to the square root of 41, which means that b squared is equal to 41. So now we have a squared, now we have b squared, now we need to perform the dot product of a and b. So now if we take the dot product of a and b, which is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz, which is equal to ax, which is 3, bx is negative 1, so 3 times negative 1, plus ay, which is 4 and 2, 4 and 2, plus, and we have negative 5 and 6, negative 5 and 6. Notice that's 8, negative 3, negative 30, negative 33 plus 8, which is negative 25. And so 2 times the dot product of a and b would therefore be equal to 2 times negative 25, which is equal to negative 50. Now let's go ahead and calculate a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So we can now say that a squared plus b squared plus twice the dot product of a and b is equal to 50 plus 41 plus 2 times a b, which is a negative 50, and so we know that that is equal to 41. All right, so now let's sum the two vectors together. Now let's go a plus b, which is equal to 3 in the i direction, plus 4 in the j direction, minus 5 in the k direction. Now we're going to add to that minus i, or minus 1 in the i direction, got ahead of myself, uh, plus 2j and plus 6k. So when we add the two together, 3 minus 1, that's 2 in the i direction, plus 6 in the j direction, plus 1 in the k direction. So this is a plus b. If we now do the dot product with a plus b times a plus b, we get, all right, so this is equal to, now we have to multiply the x component by itself, so this is equal to 2 multiplied times 2, plus the y component multiplied by itself, 6 times 6, plus 1 times 1. And so this ends up being 4 plus 36 plus 1, that's 40, that's 41. And sure enough, we get the exact same result that we got over here. So the two match, and so we've not proven that that's equal to each other, but in this case, it shows that we can find the dot product of the sum of two vectors, either by using the portion on the right or by using the portion on the left. But you can see that, yes, indeed, in this case, it is indeed the same. However, in the previous video, we've proven that that should be the case for every two vectors, and that is how it's done.